Good morning, everyone. Today we will sing Where There Is Love. Where there is love, there is God. The love of God has gathered us together. Alleluia. Love is patient, love is kind. Never jealous, never proud, never seeking for oneself. Love never leads to anger. Where there is love, there is God. The love of God has gathered us together. Alleluia. Love is gracious and forgiving, taking no delight in wrong. Love rejoices in the truth. Love will endure. Where there is love, there is God. The love of God has gathered us together. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. On this feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola, we ask his intercession as we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Ken Ward and Father Benedict Banco. Gathering our prayers into one, let us recognize our sinfulness before our God and turn to him for mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. Ignatius of Loyola in your church to further the greater glory of your name, grant that by his help we may imitate him in fighting the good fight on earth and merit to receive with him a crown in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. At the beginning of the reign of King Jehoiakim, son of Josiah of Judah, this word came from the Lord. Thus says the Lord, stand in the court of the Lord's house and speak to all the cities of Judah that come to worship in the house of the Lord. Speak to them all the words that I command you. Do not hold back a word. It may be that they will listen, all of them, and will turn from their evil way, that I may change my mind about the disaster that I intend to bring on them because of their evil doings. You shall say to them, thus says the Lord, if you will not listen to me to walk in my law that I have set before you and to heed the words of my servants, the prophets, whom I send to you urgently, though you have not heeded, then I will make this house like Silo, and I will make this city a curse for all the nations of the earth. The priests and the prophets and all the people heard Jeremiah speaking these words in the house of the Lord. And when Jeremiah had finished speaking all that the Lord had commanded him to speak to all the people, then the priests and the prophets and all the people laid hold of him, saying, You shall die. Why have you prophesied in the name of the Lord, saying, This house shall be like Shiloh, and this city shall be desolate, without inhabitant? And all the people gathered around Jeremiah in the house of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. More in number than the hairs of my head are those who hate me without cause. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Many are those who would destroy me, my enemies who accuse me falsely. It is for your sake that I have borne reproach, that shame has covered my face. 
Lord, in your great love, answer me. I have become a stranger to my kindred, an alien to my mother's children. It is zeal for your house that has consumed me. The insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. But as for me, my prayer is to you, O Lord. At an acceptable time, O God, in the abundance of your steadfast love, answer me with your faithful help. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The word of the Lord stands forever. It is the word given to you, the good news. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to his hometown and began to teach the people in their synagogue, so that they were astounded and said, Where did this man get this wisdom and these deeds of power? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother Mary? And are not his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? Are not all his sisters with us? Where then did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, Prophets are not without honor except in their own country and in their own house. And Jesus did, did not do many deeds of power there because of their unbelief. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Friends, in the scriptures today we see that Jeremiah is rejected by the people and Jesus is rejected by the people. What is this rejection all about? Well, the reality is Jesus was preaching a message that made the people uncomfortable. A message of repentance and turning back to God. Jeremiah was doing the same in the Old Testament. Repentance and turning back to God the Father. And yet, when the people don't like the message, they reject it. We're living in a society that does the same thing. We talk about freedom of speech. But heaven forbid somebody posts something on social media that somebody doesn't agree with. They become the uh, object of criticism and bullying and people ganging up on them. So sadly, society hasn't changed, has it? The person that also never changes is God. A God who proclaims truth no matter what the situation. A God who shows love no matter what the situation. A God who models mercy no matter what the situation. We see here that the Father in the first reading continues to give the people an out, an opportunity to be transformed, to be changed, to repent, to be reconciled to him. And yet, even when he's giving them a second and third and millionth chance, what's their response? They want to drive Jeremiah out. They want to kill him. So he sends us Jesus so many years later, his own son, truly human, truly God. What do we do? We nail Jesus to the cross, not interested. And yet by his suffering and death and rising from the dead, we are saved. So when we also think of the saint of the day, Saint Ignatius of Loyola, he had a deep love for God who proclaimed the suffering Jesus to help us to understand that God remains constant, that his covenant remains forever. And the beautiful Psalm, Psalm 69, Lord, in your great love, answer me. Notice that's in his love for us that God responds. Not always in the way we want, as you know, but definitely in what we need. So may we ask God to continue to help us to be faithful as he is faithful to us. As we invoke the intercession of St. Ignatius, may he indeed pray for us. Let us pray. We now turn to our loving God and present our petitions with confidence. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for missionaries who bring the joy of the gospel to distant lands. May God bless them with the spirit of wisdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those in positions of authority 
May the Holy Spirit give them a servant's heart, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are rejected by society. May Jesus sustain them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our faith community of St. Joseph and for blessings upon those we encounter in our daily lives, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an end to the spread of the coronavirus for all those affected by the virus, that they may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician. For all those who have died as a result of the virus and for the families who mourn their loss, that God may be their comfort and peace. And for researchers to find a vaccine, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the souls of all the faithful departed, we remember especially Ken and Father Ben. We also pray for Joseph, who will be buried from our parish this morning, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they now share in the eternal life God has promised them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer and for all the intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts. Hear our prayers, Lord God, as we turn to you, the source of all goodness and truth. We ask these in all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May these offerings we make to you as we celebrate St. Ignatius be pleasing, Lord God, and grant that the sacred mysteries which you have made the font of all holiness may sanctify us too in the truth, through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the feast of St. Ignatius you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you, my Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Ken and Father Ben, and Joseph, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Ignatius of Loyola, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. As you prepare your heart to receive Jesus in his spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present 
in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us spend some time in quiet prayer thanking Jesus for the gift of the Eucharist. Let us pray. May the sacrifice of praise that we have offered with thanksgiving in honor of St. Ignatius, O Lord, bring us to exalt your majesty without end, through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Gentle reminder again for all the people of St. Joseph. Daily Mass will be open again here to attend in the pews beginning on Monday. So continue to make the transition from the couch to the pew. Where there is love, there is God. The love of God has gathered us together. Alleluia. Many things will pass away. There are but three things that last. Faith, hope, and love. The greatest of these is love. Where there is love, there is God. The love of God gathered us together. 